First and foremost, <coughs> the haste in which the report was just churned out. Frankly speaking, I don't know what the rush was for. This is one of the sort of issues of national interest. We, as a professional body, we should take time, coordinate with the relevant agencies, and come up with a detailed report. Why the haze? Is the Bar Council a professional body? Or is it being hijacked by certain other things? I do not know anymore. For example, the report. It seems like our Bar Council president shot himself in the foot. In the early part of the report, unprovoked actions of the police bordering on violence, you can put it that way. But yet at page 26 of the report, if you look at page 26, page 26 of the report shows the police were provoked, booed, cheered, and completely taunted by the public. Now, what is the Bar Council President talking about? He is the leader of a professional body. And right now, in the space of 26 pages, he's contradicting himself. Next, he's completely kept quiet about what started the stampede. That is where total silence. Are we professionals? Are we lawyers? Mr. President, the barricade was removed. After the barricade was removed, crowd stormed through. 50 meters, police did not take action. Police were patient up to that point. And when the crowd became unruly, property damage was created, chaos. What do you expect the police to do? What do you expect if your family was there, Mr. President? Right. Tan Sri Ismail Omar has said there are a few bad apples in the force. He was candid and frank enough to admit that. Are we now in the Bar Council frank and enough to admit there are a few rotten apples on top of the heap? You contradicted yourself. Now, please give the full picture of actually what happened. It is supposed to be a gathering of NGOs. Every time a gathering of NGOs happens, a certain political leader will be armed in arm with the so-called organizers of the event. And is strangely silent. The Bar Council, when it comes to who broke the barricades, that certain so-called political figure, no comment, no comment, no comment. We owe a duty. Law is technical jargon. We owe a duty to the Ahmad Achongs Hunyandis in the streets. Tell, paint the full picture. Let them judge. We are not a political body. Let us remind ourselves of that. The last notable pa chairman we had was the late Raja Aziz Idrus. He fought, you can hardly call him pro-establishment, but he fought his battles in court. He defended Param Kumarasamy on a sedition act against the government. Now, you are defending what? Who? Please give us an answer. We are members of this professional body. We don't want to be dragged into a cesspool of your creation. Please give us frank answers now. Are you conducting your legal battles in the social media? Very unbecoming of a Bar Council President. Section 98 is not being brought up because it's not news. I'm sad to say there was a written order 
98. There was a forbidden zone. Parameters were drawn. The rally organizers agreed to that. And when the barricade got removed, the bar council remained silent. We are here to tell the people this is the law. When has a law been breached? Has anyone ever bothered to explain what 98 is? What the limitations that were agreed on by all parties? And what were the consequences if a breach had occurred? Freedom of assembly in every country, in every democrat democratic, civilized country, has to have its limitations. If chaos and public order is breached, do we still, still call that freedom of assembly? Bursay too, the organizers wanted Stadium Merdeka. Okay, the authorities refused. Organizers went ahead, fudged their way, iconic stadium. We want to voice our opinions. Fair enough. That's when chaos ensued. Bursay 3. Okay, authorities gave you Stadium Merdeka. Now, in a sudden change of heart, we want Dataran Merdeka. Do you get this sort of freedoms in any ASEAN countries, let alone the world? Accommodative, sitting down, having a dialogue for the good of the people. Conditions all laid out. And yet, someone chose to breach it. And the breach of it is not being highlighted of the Bar Council. Take your time. Prepare a proper report after an exhaustive study of the whole situation. Police, for the sake of Malaysia, you are the only legal professional body that we can count on. Don't let us down.